Hello everyone, back I see you with another review. In this episode, we are going to have a reviewing of Nikon 18-55mm f3.5-5.6G, to the XVR AFP lens. This lens, the Nikon 18-55mm to AFP, is an improvement over the old version, the 18-55mm to AFS VR2 lens. The lens is very small, compact and light, about 200 grams, easy to carry and easy to use. It has a 55mm cab, so we can use any 55mm filters. Here I use 55mm UV filter to protect the lens. The lens is well made and it's all plastic. Even rear of the lens, as you see, that's why it's so light, but of course the glass is glass. This is the X lens for crop sensor DSLRs. VR or vibration reduction technology system is going to help in low light situation to prevent camera's shake when hand holding for sharper photos and a steady video. The lens doesn't have any switch button such as auto to manual or VR on off button. So nice and clean. But we can switch in the camera's menu between autofocus and manual focus. And we can also switch the image stabilization on and off. This is actually a lock button to keep the lens compact. For unlock the lens to use, we have to press this unlock button and turn it side, which make the lens a bit larger. Now we can zoom from 18 to 55. Here is the zoom ring, which moving smoothly. And here we have a focusing ring without stopping. Oh, so nice and smooth. I love it. And finally, to lock the lens again, we have to press the lock button and turn it back. It has a 7 aperture blade. And maximum aperture goes from f3.5 up to 5.6. Let's load it on the camera, and it is Nikon D7200. The maximum aperture in 18mm is f3.5, and in 55mm is f5.6, so that was the maximum aperture. And the minimum aperture goes from f22 up to 36. Here it is. In 18 millimeter, the minimum aperture is f22. And in 55 millimeter is f36. The lens focuses essentially silently and instantly because it has an ultra fast near silent autofocus. So that's why it is an AFP lens and it is ideal for recording videos. By the way, at the end of the video, we will test the zoom range and the focusing speed. We can use this lens for landscape, portrait, building, family, and street photography. Another good thing about the lens is, there is no external movement as focus. You see? So, no air or dust can get in. Now, let's see the focus. As you see, it focuses so fast and so silent. Pretty good, huh? Okay, we're in a park and I loaded the lens on the camera, the Nikon D7200. So, let's see the zoom range. Here we go. We can see the zoom range of the lens from 18mm up to 55 
Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you in another product review.